San Diego Padres looking for a win tonight after that Game 1 loss to the Dodgers. Joining me now to talk to more about Game 1 and a preview of Game 2 is former Padres All-Star center fielder Steve Finley. Mr. Finley, I thought we might be talking under better conditions. You've experienced Game 1 losses in your storied career before. How devastating are they? Well, you know, in a short series, you definitely want to get the first game, but it's not the end of the world. Um, you know, I think the Padres were looking good for, uh, you know, four and two-thirds innings yesterday, and, and that, the miscue at the at the bottom of the fifth inning there with two outs that allowed the run score to change the whole momentum of the game. And uh, Dodgers are not a team right now that you want to give momentum to, and unfortunately it came back to bite the pods. Well, let, let's get the bad news out of the way first. You, uh, your starting pitcher, you were hoping to get – at least two innings out. I mean, uh, obviously he was trying to gut through. And uh, how concerned are you about Clevenger right now as far as his just overall health? Well, I mean, I would say the chances of him coming back are probably pretty slim, being that it flared up as it, as it did after having all that time off. Um, you know, chances are we're probably going to see somebody else from uh, their 40-man pool. Uh, who that is, anybody's guess, they're probably going to look at their roster and uh, – you know, given that it's five games or now four games in the next four days, you had to use a lot of your bullpen yesterday. Uh, they're probably going to evaluate after today's game uh, what they're going to need going forward. Well, let's uh, let's just get to it. I mean, uh, who do you give the ball to? Uh, d- does Zach get the ball tonight? I would think so. I mean, he was one of your most effective pitchers all year. Um, you know, it, it's it's probably a toss up maybe for them. I don't know. Uh, you know, but you're going to need some innings out of your starter. So. Um, you know, tonight is, is, is you know, in effect for the Padres, almost a must-win game. So I would expect to see the Padres to pull out all stops to win this game. What's going through Davey's mind right now? Uh, I'm sure he wants the ball. I mean, uh, he's been a bulldog. Uh, he wants the ball, and he probably wants to go seven uh, or a complete game. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's going to – the Dodgers have a good team, and they're playing well right now. There's a reason they were the best team in baseball this year, and uh, – you know, you can't give them extra outs or give them momentum and, and like you saw last night. So hopefully the Padres can get on the board early uh, and get their offense chugging like they did against the Cardinals in that second game and uh, give the bullpen a little bit of a break and, and whoever's a starting pitcher a little bit of breathing room. You know, uh, Steve, you look at the Padres lineup and you think, oh, man, where's the – if you're the opposing pitcher, where, where's your easy outs? And then you look at the Dodgers lineup, man, they're just stacked. I mean, there's no easy outs. Well, I mean, there's a reason that the Dodgers and the Padres, which I should have included, were the two of the best teams in baseball this year, uh, in all, especially in the offensive side. And, uh, you know, there is no easy out. And, and this is going to be a game of momentum. Uh, usually the playoffs are like that. And uh, you want to seize that momentum uh, and score as many runs as you can because uh, runs typically in the postseason are at a premium. And, and the Dodgers pitching staff is tough. Our pitching staff is tough. Obviously, we're down two of our best starters. But uh, the other guys have done – great job and have shown flashes of brilliance so uh we need that right now from them so steve put your gold glove back on put your hat lid back on take us inside the clubhouse what would a veteran steve finley tell these kids before they take the field what's what's your pregame speech oh if i have to give a pregame speech it'll be hey just go out there every play matters be focused uh i mean that's the playoffs i mean uh the intensity level goes up it's not that you're more amped it's just the intensity level goes up. Uh, every play means something. You can't take a pitch off uh, and play the game like you did last night because the Padres had the momentum going on their side, uh, but unfortunately they're a little miscue, which does happen, but a miscue like that you can't afford to have tonight. And Clayton Kershaw t- tolls the rubber for the Dodgers. Is he the same Clayton Kershaw? Uh, his last start he was, but, uh, you know, hopefully uh, that start wore him out a little bit. And, uh he can revert to the guy who's been struggling the last couple of years. So, uh, you know, the Padres are going to grind him out. Uh, you saw what they did to Bueller yesterday. He's been one of the best pitchers for the Dodgers. So the Padres are going to grind any pitcher that toes that rubber, grind him out, and, and hopefully they're able to do that to Kershaw and get in that bullpen early. Mr. Finley, thank you for making time for us from the inner sanctum. We will talk again, uh, hopefully, <laughs> with better news maybe in the, in the next coming days, okay? Keep our fingers crossed. Steve Finley, everybody, will have